Hey everybody. So today I want to explore and talk about uh, a product called Air LLM, which despite its name, it's not an actual LLM. It's a uh, product that is used to enhance LLMs. So Air LLM optimizes inference memory usage, allowing 70 billion parameter large language models to run inference on a single four gigabyte GPU card, no quantization, distillation, pruning, or other model compression techniques that would result in degraded memory performance are needed. So essentially, uh, the beautiful thing about what this does is it's really simple and straightforward. You take a large language model, like one of the ones that they have listed here, all of these 70 billion parameter models, or even these 34 billion parameter models, and then you load them onto uh, like a consumer hardware machine. Uh, and you can run them without any issues, like in, in really low memory usage um, and without like kind of like degrading the performance. So and like these are so 70 billion parameter models are, are big, right? Like. Um, so I like the first thing that I wanted to do was like show this off in like a Google Colab notebook, but uh, I run into issues with the Google Colab notebook, not because of the like the um, hardware requirements, specifically like GPU or CPU, um, but because of the disk space. So with the 70 billion parameter models, they're still like 70 billion parameter models, no matter what I do, if, you know, I like quantize them down, etc. Uh, and then so like even a quantized model is still like uh, over 80 gigabytes just to install it. And then so like a non quantized 70 billion parameter model, just to put the model on the hard drive is like 120 to like 150 gigs is, is a big uh, and then so it's not going to fit in, in a Google Colab environment and so that's the problem as to why I can't but if like that restriction weren't there if it weren't so big to load the model uh, I would be able to run the models with this with no issues with Google Colab even like these 70 million parameter models which is huge <laughs> and uh, so it's kind of interesting how the Air LLM works, and it's pretty straightforward, right, to me. So, uh, and I'm so kind of surprised that we haven't seen anything around it before. Uh, so we take a look at this diagram of neural networks, of a deep neural network, uh, and it's pretty straightforward, right? So in this example, you have the input layer, and then this is showing three hidden layers, three layers in the middle, and then the output layer. Uh, and then a deep neural network is going to be a lot more than this. It's going to, you know, like uh, each one of these dots would be a parameter. So uh, if it's 70 billion parameters, then there's going to be 70 billion <laughs> of these dots. But this gives us like the oversimplification, right? And then so let's say that this is our, our deep neural network. And then so uh, what happens is, is uh, when typically when we uh, load this model onto a GPU, we load the entire model, like er everything, right? Um, but what Air LLM does is it's pretty straightforward is it just so rather than loading the entire model to the GPU, it says, okay, here's the input layer. If there's an input, then load that layer. And then once the, like, as soon as it goes to layer number two, then load layer number two, uh, and then drop layer, the input layer. Uh, and then once it, uh, goes to layer number three, then load layer number three and drop layer number two, uh, and then go through that whole process, right? So <clears throat> rather than loading the whole entire model at one time to the GPU, it's only loading the like each individual layer one at a time as it's needed. And then so it just goes through. And then essentially what that allows you to do is run these rather huge models on uh, really simple and basic GPU hardware with, again, the only restriction being uh, the fact that um, you need the hardware, so the disk space. Um, but then also to, and then what they're showing here is uh, you can also too, on top of this, like quantize the model. So you can utilize this method plus quantization. Uh, and then if you use that, then you can just get like crazy inference times. Like you can get like four times faster, essentially uh, up to three times faster uh, inference speeds. Um, by four bit quantization, which uh, four bit quantizing a 70 billion parameter model is still gonna give you some pretty good performance. <laughs> so you might not like, that's not a bad option with Air LLM. And then so overall, this is interesting to me. It's, uh, I'm putting a video out on it because it's dealing more with bringing large models smaller and smaller. Uh, and uh, anything that is around that, uh, that's my focus at the moment. Uh, and like, uh, 
I think that's the future is getting these models as small as possible. It's cool that we have large language models and like these large models that can do these very complex things, but it'd be a lot cooler if we could just get them smaller and then uh, uh, they can still do those complex and crazy cool things. But just being like with a smaller footprint, uh, being able to fit on smaller hardware, et cetera. Um, and so now that we have like the hardware out, it's kind of just doing what technology has done for a while and uh, like shrinking that technology down, right? Like making it smaller and smaller. Um, and so Air LLM is uh, one step in that journey. I think we will see lots of other products like um, besides Air LLM and uh, perhaps in the future uh, products that will replace it, but it's cool uh, as a technology right now. Uh, and then so, uh, yeah, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe and I'll leave the link to the GitHub repository in the video, link to the video. Thank you.